So you want a couple of photorealistic donuts. Well, let's get started. We're gonna right click the cube, delete, shift A, select torus, set the minor radius to 0 0.025 and the major radius to 0 0.04. The major segments will be 28. Now we'll hit the tab key and go into edit mode. Select the circle thingy, choose the move tool, left click the point and move the wheel up at the same time. Moving different points, you can choose to move things up, in and out, down to add imperfection to the shape of the donut. We're going to hit tab, right click, shade smooth, a wrench here, add modifier, subdivision surface, hit the level viewport too. Tab, x-ray mode, highlight all the vertices. We're going to hit shift D, escape P, the selection will come up and we'll choose that. And now we got our potential icing. Add another modifier, solidify, 0 0.0025. Offset, go all the way up. Put solidify before subdivision. Hit A, right click, subdivide, smoothness to one. We're gonna grab the boomerang there. Then we're gonna hit face, project individual elements, all left click vertus, control I to invert, H to hide, and then we're gonna move these points down. Extrude this by hitting E and pulling it down. Hit S if you wanna kinda of scale it in. Don't forget to hit Alt H to unhide the vertices. We're gonna go back into solidify, and we're gonna do edge data, crease the inners, but we're gonna apply that, solidify, and apply subdivision as well. Apply this subdivision to the torus here. Add in another subdivision surface. Bring the level viewport to two again. We're gonna apply it. Hit the sculpt tab here. Get the sharp tool. Go around at least twice. Go into object mode. Select the icing. Go back into sculpt mode. Choose the inflate tool. Go along the edge of the drips here and just do one, two, three. And again, on the next strip, go back into edit mode and we'll select a point underneath the icing just to kind of pull it around the donut. And if this uh, doesn't work for the next one, we'll choose R to rotate the drip. Then you're gonna pull it again with the move tool. We're gonna go back into sculpt mode, pull the edges of the cream in, so use the grab tool. We're gonna add some displacement on top of the donut. Use smooth, kind of smoothing out the edges. We're gonna use the grab tool inside the donut hole, pull those edges down. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna choose the world, choose this, make it more of a peachish color. The subsurface scattering, we want 0.1 all the way down. So after that, we'll choose kind of an orange peachish color. Go into the render settings and change that from Eve to Cycles. That way we get a more photorealistic looking render. And then the icing is actually going to be pretty simple. So we're going to make it kind of a light brownish color. Just bring the roughness down a little bit just to kind of have the icing be a little bit shiny. We're going to go into edit mode, hit A, select UV unwrap, texture paint. So if we zoom in a little bit more, you can see the donut is pink. That means that it's not connected with the texture paint. Save this as Fasto, 1024 times two. Hit OK. Go into shading. And now we're gonna hit Shift A, S, Image Texture, connect the color to the color base, choose Fasto. We'll go back into Paint Texture. We'll just paint around the edge. Okay, it's working, and it shows it in the 2D viewport. Each time you're done, make sure to save as to update color texture. We're gonna make this a peach color. We're gonna increase the radius up, all the way up actually. So let's color in the 2D viewport. And as you can see, we got kind of a hard seam. So we're just gonna save, and then uh, it's gonna crack. Nope, it's not because that's good karma. So we finished painting in the middle of there. Press N, decrease the radius to 40, strength 300. Change this from black to white. Now we're just gonna go around one time. Choose texture mask. Choose clouds. Paint around again of the edge on top. And on bottom, same thing. Change it back to black, and the blending mode is going to be changed from mix to overlay. Paint around the edges there on top, the middle, edge, bottom, orange in the middle, bottom. Okay, and there you go. You got your basic texture. And again, let's save this file, and we'll go into the finished render view. Now, procedural texture. So we're going to shift A, S, texture coordinate. Shift A, S, noise texture. Scale all the way to 2000. Shift A, S, displacement. 
put that into the displacement for material output. Go to the world, change it from bump only to displacement and bump only. Ah, whoa, that's a little spiky there. But not to worry, we're gonna put that at 0.002. And now we got that subtle bump. Click on the noise texture, Shift D, and that will duplicate it. Make the scale be 200 for that one. So we're gonna plug object into the vector again. Choose mix RGB, change the mix to add. Color ramp, put it in between the add and the noise texture node. Plug the noise texture into color two. Do a switcheroo with these two guys. Bring that halfway up. Grab the add texture here. And then I'm gonna move it upwards and search for another mix RGB. Place that in between the image texture and our principal BSDF texture. Make this one an orange color. Plug the color into FAC. I'm not swearing. Change the blend mode to overlay. So okay, on the add node, bring the FAC up to around uh, 618, 700, somewhere around there bring the roughness up a little bit. Let's move on to sprinkles. Actually, I lied, we're not doing sprinkles just yet. Shift A, mesh, choose a plane. Move that plane down, and then we're gonna make it light pinkish color. Go in between the little uh, border of the tabs here. We're gonna do a vertical split. This kind of makes the workflow a little bit easier sometimes. Click on camera, so view, Camera to view, this gives you a little bit more freedom of how you want the shot to look. Select icing, select the donut, and we're gonna hit Control P, Object, Keep Transform. Whenever you move the donut, um, the icing comes with it. Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere, for the radius 0 0.001. Segments will be 12, rings, six, drag this across the y-axis, E to extrude, S and Z to flatten the top of the sphere, S and Z again to flatten the bottom. Make sure to shade smooth. We will make this kind of a baby blue color. So we're gonna do some things with particle settings for the icing. So we're gonna choose hair. Oh, that looks a little weird, but don't worry, we're gonna go into render, and then we're gonna choose object use this little dropper thing and we're going to select the object sphere we're going to scale this render to 160 so we're going to go to advanced settings so to rotation check that randomize phase and we're going to move that all the way up but nothing's happening now why because it's not on normal that's why randomize a slight little bit we're going to turn off the sprinkles that sounds really weird but we're going to go into weight paint we're gonna get a top view of that, and we're gonna paint. We're just gonna paint all the way around. Turn the screen thing back on. Go to vertex groups. We're gonna choose group, and now it groups them together. They're no longer on the drift. Set this number to about 903. Set the seed to eight. We're gonna hop into shading. Shift A, S, and object info. We're gonna hit Shift A, S again, color ramp and we're gonna plug the random into FAC, and then color into base color, and we're just gonna choose five random different colors. After you're doing that, we're gonna change it from linear to constant. Play around a little bit with the colors until something feels right to you. So the goal is to make a variety of different sprinkles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this a small sprinkle, shift D, duplicate, stretch this sprinkle, and make this a medium. Select both sprinkles, hit M, new collection, and we're gonna name this Sprinkle. Duplicate the medium sprinkle, control R, add two loop cuts, click, with the move tool, bend it a little bit. Sorry about the wonky camera movement. Duplicate the medium one, and make this one long. We'll just repeat the same process. And last but not least, let's do a sphere, make it .005, shade smooth, make it baby blue, lower the roughness a little bit to around 300 or so. Make the sphere part of that collection. For all the sprinkles, we're gonna render as collection. Instance collection, choose sprinkle. Ah, too many balls. No worries, use count. So what we'll do, we'll make all the short sprinkles 30. The medium, 60. All the long, 30. Sphere, we'll just keep that at one. The sprinkles look a little too thick, if you know what I mean. So we're gonna bring that down from 160 to 110. We're gonna bring the number of sprinkles 
from 903 to 908 and we'll make the seed be one. If you want, play around with the lighting a little bit. So we're gonna go from point to area light and we'll just kind of move things around, cast kind of a shadow around the donut. F12, render that sucker out, that's a donut. 